Hi class, today we're going to continue our discussion about the applications of integrals to physics. And in this problem we're going to be working on lifting some water out of a cubicle tank. So to follow along you're going to need the handout from class so you can read on problem number seven what we're trying to do. So problem number seven says, a cubicle tank has dimensions four meters by four meters by four meters it's completely filled with water, and we need to find the work required to pump all of the fluid through a pipe that has an opening eight meters from the bottom of the tank. So let's take a look at this diagram and see how we can set up this problem to get to the work. So here's our four by four cubicle tank, and as always, I have created an x-axis so that I can measure my distances with respect to that. So this problem is a little bit unique because we're trying to take all the water in this tank and lift it up and out a tube that has a distance of 8 meters. So I went ahead and defined my x-axis to be the top of the tube where the water is coming out of and called that zero on my x-axis. With that zero then, I have four as the actual top of the tank and eight as the bottom of the tank in meters. And remember, we want to think about this as a Riemann sum. So we want to be able to calculate the volume and the force of the weight on one slice of water, and we want to think about taking this slice of water and lifting it up and out of the tank. And then we're going to use some Riemann ideals to figure out how we could do that for all of the slices that are in the tank. So let's look at this setup. So the first thing we need to know for this one little slice of water is its volume. So we use our volume formula length, width, and height. Here we have a length and a width of four, but we're going to go ahead and call this height right here, let's call it here, delta x. Whatever delta x we want. Each one of those is in meters. So if we look at the volume, we have 4 meters times 4 meters times the change in x, delta x meters. So just for this one slice of water, it has a volume of 16 delta x meters cubed. Now in addition to that, we need to get the force of the weight of this water. So we need to know the density and volume. The density of water is given to us. We know that the mass density is 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second, and that will give us the density force for our force. And then here's the volume we just computed a second ago. So if I multiply together 1,000 times 9.8 times 16 delta x, I get 1,568,000 delta x newtons of force. So I encourage you as we're going through this problem to pause as necessary pause the video, take some notes, and then start back up so that we can continue with the problem. So if you need to pause and pause the video to get all this down, please do so. But I'm going to continue on and talk about how we can take the force of weight for this one little slice and see if we can sum it up and move them all up and out of the tank. Okay, so remember what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get the work involved in taking all of those slices out of the tank. So imagine that I used W for my work, and I let delta x get so small that I actually have infinitely many slices of water to lift out. And if I add the work involved in taking each one of those slices out, I should be able to compute the work to taking all of the water out of the tank. So that's going to be a Riemann sum. I want to let the number of slices go to infinity, or let that delta x get so, so, so thin that I have infinitely many slices in there. And I want to add up the work involved in lifting each one of those slices up and out of the tank. So we know that the work involved is really just equal to the force times the distance traveled. And so let's plug in what we know from before. Okay, so we just calculated the force for one little slice, and we said it was 1,568,000 delta x newtons. But let's talk about this distance. So this is the distance that the slice has to travel to get out of the tank. Well, let's go back to our diagram here. Using the one slice we've created here, this slice is going to have to lift up to the top of this tank and then go out this tube and come out the top. So if you look at our x-axis that we defined here, this is the distance that individual slice needs to get up and out. So the distance I'm going to put here is just xi. Because remember, I defined the top there to be zero to make my life a little bit easier in the calculations. 
So now we've got a formula for work that's in a Riemann sum, but wouldn't it be nice for us to be able to actually change that Riemann sum to an integral so we can calculate it? And it turns out that we can. So using the same construct we've been using all semester, we're going to take this um, limit of infinitely many slices and turn it into an integral. So let's first figure out the function. I'm going to rearrange a little bit. I'm going to let the x be here, and I'm going to let that delta x turn into dx. And now we need to talk about the bounds of integration. And this is going to be where the volume of our water exists on our x-axis. So we can look at this diagram here. There's actually no water. The tank is, does not exist from 0 to 4. So where the water exists that we need to lift is from 4 to 8. So we need to lift all of the water on our axis from 4 to 8 to get up and out. So we don't want to use 0 to 4, there's no water up here. So our bounds of integration are 4 to 8. Well, for each of these problems, the setup is the hardest part. And once we have it set up, the integration turns out to be not too difficult. So if we integrate this, we'll get 1,568,000 x squared over 2, evaluated from 4 to 8. Now if you plug everything in, you will get 3,763,200 joules, or many times when a number is that big, we just go ahead and say 3.7 times 10 to the 6 joules. And in fact, I guess I should round this to 3.8 times 10 to the 6 joules. So the work required to lift all of that fluid up and out of that tank is 3.8 times 10 to the 6 joules.